Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lily Maxwell and I'm an Australian Melbourne makeup artist and beauty therapist. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different. I know I said last week I wanted to do a Halloween look, but I thought because Halloween's coming up next week, I thought we'd do it next week. So this week's video is going to be a Q&A, get to know me kind of video. So I've got some questions I've written myself down to answer for you guys so you can just get a little bit more about me and get to know me a little bit more um, so you can just watch me do my makeup and yeah get to know me a little bit more about myself so yeah keep on watching all right so let's get straight into doing our makeup you can feel free to get ready with me I will be linking all of the products that I use down below in the description box and so let's start off with our questions while I do my makeup so the first question is how old are you I'm 20 years old um, my birthday is the 1st of April 2000 um, yes I was born on April Fool's Day and no it's not a joke I say that every time someone asks me is your birthday actually seriously on April Fool's and yes it is <laughs> okay next question is do you have any siblings I do I have an old a younger brother he looks older than me because he is a lot taller than me okay next question is dogs or cats um, both. I know you guys prefer me to choose from one or the other, but I have a cat, so you're probably thinking I would prefer cats, but I love all animals. Um, if I had to choose, I would say cats, just because they... I don't know. I have one and I know what it's like to look after one, so I just prefer cats. But my boyfriend does have a dog and she's super, super cute. Um, so yeah both <laughs> doesn't really answer the question but both um, next question is what year were you born I was born in 2000 oh, a 2000 baby and it's a lot easier being born well like not everyone can be born in 2000 but it's nice that I was born in 2000 because every year no matter what year it is that's the year I turn so 2020 I'm 20 years old next year it's 2021 I turn 21 so you know people don't really have to think how old I am they just go right you're 20 years old because it's 2020 um, next question what is your favorite drink um that's a tough question are we talking about alcohol or just like normal soft drink um well if it's alcohol because in australia you can be 18 and drink um i prefer moscato or like some kind of sweet wine I don't mind spirits as long as they're like a mixed drink, um, like cruises, I don't mind them. Such a white girl thing to say, but they're just so easy to go down, but you got to watch those cruises if you have too many of them. Oh boy, they hit you pretty quick. Um, but yeah, favourite alcoholic drink is like a sweet wine like Moscato. I don't mind white wine. Um, also, don't underage drink um, for all you youngins out there. Um, my favourite non-alcoholic drink is probably um, vanilla coke or lemon lime bitters. It's what I always get when I go out to eat. Um, obviously, we can't do that at the moment because Victoria is in lockdown still. Um, but yeah, Moscato and vanilla coke. Um, next question, tea or coffee? Um, I hate coffee. I can, I can have an iced coffee, but, um, it just really depends on the strength. 
Um, my family are not strong coffee drinkers, but um, they have it every now and then. And sometimes I'll drink one, but again, depending on the strength of the coffee, um, probably I won't drink it all the time though. I'm not like addicted to coffee. Um, so more of a tea drinker. I grew up drinking tea. My nana is a tea drinker herself and yeah, I've loved drinking tea ever since I was little so yeah, I'm, I'm a tea girl. Um, next question. What sports do you play or have you played? Um, so I have done quite a few sports. Um, the sports that I have done in the past I played soccer, um, I've done karate, that didn't last long though, neither did soccer, I was a very adventurous person, I would try and find so many hobbies to do because my brother at the time played soccer for so long, I think he played for about 8 years and I looked at him and I, I really wanted to just try and get into something that I loved but I could never find something. Um, but at the moment I do ballroom dancing and I have been doing that for about, I think this is my ninth year. I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to say eight years because this year I haven't really been able to go to dancing as much because Victoria has been in lockdown since March and we, we opened again in June, but we went back into lockdown. We were only able to go back to dancing for like a month and we couldn't even do close contact as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it as eight years. So I've been dancing for eight years and I love ballroom dancing. Um, it's so different and so much fun. Like it's not something that's, it's a, it's a competitive sport, but it's a lot of, you socialize a lot. I'm not, I guess you could say I'm an extrovert, but when it comes to dancing, I just like to be in the moment. It's like my second home. Um, and everyone there is so lovely there. Um, I did take a year's break though, just cause I was going through some problems and um, I wanted to focus on finishing school at the time and get my license as well. So I did all those things and then I came back um, in September last year. So yeah, you know, even though you have do so many things you love and sometimes it's all just a little bit too much at the time. So, you know, it's good to just take a little break. I just realized I've gone through so many questions already and I'm, I haven't even started on my eyes. So I'm just going to quickly prime my eyes off camera and then I'll get started with the eyeshadow to answer some, some more questions. Okay, so I've primed my eyes, so let's get into some more questions and I'm going to start on my eyeshadow as well. Okay, so the next question is, are you single or taken? Well, I am taken. I've been in a relationship with my boyfriend for about three, three years and a couple of months. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go too much into detail about my relationship just because of his sake he probably doesn't want to want me to talk about our relationship too much on camera and let everyone know about our private life so I'm just going to say we are happy and you know lockdown's been a bit tough but you know we can still see each other and we are getting really excited that restrictions are easing so we can um, do more things together, um, but yeah, we are happy at the moment, and he's, he's really lovely, he's a really good guy, and I love him, so yeah, and um, next question is, what is your go-to fast food order? Um, depends on the place, I normally... If it's like McDonald's, I would normally get like a medium double cheeseburger meal. Um, 
with a chocolate thick shake. That's normally my go-to. Um, if it's KFC, I normally like to get a regular fillet combo meal. Um, I don't like spicy food, so I don't like the Zinger burgers. They're a little bit gross. And I don't eat KFC that often because it makes you feel really funny afterwards. Um, um, Subway, I normally get like a meatball sub with lots of salads and um, definitely olives. I love olives. Um, next question is, do you have any bad habits? Um, I bite my nails a lot. I know that sounds really gross, but I do. Um, hence to why I've got my nails done at the moment. I did them myself. Um, because having my nails done just kind of gives me that mentality knowing that I shouldn't buy my nails when I've got such nice nails on. So yeah, I bought my nails. Um, next question is what social media are you addicted to? Um, like everybody else, I'm addicted to TikTok at the moment. Um, I could literally spend hours just scrolling through that app. It's so addictive. Not only TikTok, I like scrolling through Facebook as well. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what it is about Facebook. It's so... I don't know, just the things you see on Facebook, it's completely different. The next question is... What TV show are you currently watching? Um, I'm watching the last season of Big Bang Theory on Netflix at the moment. Um, it's a really good show. Um, it's, it's not something I thought I would get myself into watching, like, get really into, but, you know... My boyfriend started watching it and he got really into it, so now I'm watching it. Um, next question. If you could do, if you could only do one last thing, what would it be? Um, finish this makeup because I'm taking forever to do it. I think it's because I'm talking whilst doing my makeup. Whew, okay, so I'm going to quickly finish off my eyes. I'm going to do the other wing and then place the lashes. Please don't forget I'm going to just put down all of the products that I use in the description box down below. So if you see anything that I like that I didn't use, off cam that I did use off camera, um, please go check that out if you liked the lashes or liked the eyeliner that I use. So yeah, I'll be right back to answer some more questions. Okay, and we are back. Our eyeliner is done, our lashes are done. I've done inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. So I'm going to go straight into the rest of the face. Um, and the next question is, I'll get my book of questions here, is, did I answer ice cream flavor? What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Um, that also depends on the brand as well. Um, if it's Ben and Jerry's, my boyfriend already knows this. I love cookie dough ice cream. I don't know the exact name for it, but it just has vanilla ice cream and cookie dough in it. Um, and it's the best. I think I might put this foundation on with a brush. It's quite sheer. And then I'll blend it out. Um, but yeah, Ben and Jerry's is the cookie dough ice cream. Um, if it's like from Cold Rock or from like an ice cream shop, 
Um, I just like cookie and uh, cookie dough. Cookies and cream ice cream with the crushed up Oreos in it. Um, if I'm buying like ice cream sticks from the supermarket, I love the um, drumsticks um, with boysenberry on it. So the drums, boysenberry drumsticks. Um, I discovered them a couple of years ago and they are amazing. I love, love, love them. I think my mum actually introduced me to them and now my dad buys them for me. Every week I'm with him and we'll have them for dessert every couple of nights of the week. Do you have any pets? Show them to us. Um, I have a pet, but because I'm at my dad's and she is at my mum's house, if you guys have seen my ver very first YouTube video, she's in that one. She's a lovely little um, cat and she, her name's Eliza and she's technically my very first pet that I've had um, because the last pet I had, which was a cat, he um, ran away. So, yeah, and we didn't have him for that long, actually. Um, and his name was Ben. Um, but yeah, so I have a cat, her name's Eliza, and she's, I guess you could say she's like my little best friend. She loves me to death, she gets so excited every time I go to mum's again for the week, and she sleeps with me every night on my bed and she's just really well behaved but recently she has been bringing in lots of little um, bugs into the house like last time I was with my mum she brought in a lizard luckily she didn't kill it because my mum was able to find her at seven o'clock in the morning playing around with it and quickly got it back inside in time. I know it's in their nature to hunt for things and do stuff like that, but we just don't want little creepy crawlies around in our house. Um, and then after the lizard, she brought in a little um, bee and we didn't want her to play with that because obviously she'd get stung and We'd have to take her to the vet and during a pandemic, that's not something we want to do. Something we don't want to do, not something we want to do. Um, and yeah. I think what was after that, she, the same day actually, she brought in that bee. She decided to bring in like a little centipede and it was so gross. We had to leave the door shut that leads to outside. We had to shut it for a little bit just so she could learn her lesson. And she's a very free cat. She can do anything she likes. She's happy to sleep with us, but as soon as morning hits, she really wants to go outside. So we just let her. And she'll come inside eventually. And we've kind of built her to a schedule. It sounds really weird, but she knows her outside time, she knows her inside time, like she'll come in for a nap during the day for a couple of hours, and um, my mum normally comes home at about 5.30 um, in the evening, and she normally is inside at about 4 o'clock before she comes home, just so she can um, say hello to mum when she comes home from work, which is really cute. Um, and that's normally around her dinner time as well. So when we first got her, mum would feed her every night at 5.30 when she'd come home from work. So she's built around an eating schedule as well. But speaking of an eating schedule, she eats so crazy, such crazy times of the morning. Like she'll wake up my mum. She doesn't wake me up. She wakes up my mum for breakfast at like 4 o'clock in the morning. And it drives my mum crazy. And I'm just so glad that she doesn't do it to me because she knows now that she, ever since we've got her, she won't get me up to feed her. It sounds really mean, but I'm not an early bird. I won't get up for any reason 
past seven o'clock. Yeah, my mum hates hates it when Eliza wakes her up at four o'clock in the morning just for a bit of breakfast. And she wants to go outside at that time as well. And mum's just like, no, you can wait. Um, but yeah, she's a really good kitty. She's allowed to do what she likes. But when it comes to bringing in little animals and insects, it's a big no-no. I'm actually liking the way how I did that just then. I don't know if you saw, but I did my blush first. I don't know why I did it. I just got a kind of got a bit carried away. But I did my blush first and then I did my bronzer. I don't know, just it works out perfect. Alright, time for highlight. My favourite part of the makeup regime. Oh yeah. This is the Ofra Cosmetics in the shade Glazed Donut. Ah, oh, how pretty that is. Oh my god. Woo. I'm gonna do a little bit more just cause, cause why not, why not? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no, that was a bit too much. <laughs> ah, I really do look like a glazed donut though. I've only got one question left that I've written down and I'm trying to save it for the end because I know I still have quite a bit to go through on my makeup. So. I'm just going to quickly speed you up on how I do my lips. Um, you guys already know, you've seen me do my lips quite a few times on, on my videos, so I'll quickly speed you up how I do those. And then I'll answer my question on at the very end. everyone that concludes the makeup for today's video and the very last question I have is what is your favorite color and as you can see I'm wearing two different colors on my eyes today and that is pink and purple um, so yeah pink and purple are my two favorite colors and as you can tell they work really well on the eyes for an eyeshadow look and yeah that concludes the video for today I hope you guys enjoy today's Q&A. If you want to get to know a little bit more about me, please comment down below and I will maybe make another video in the near future. Um, as for next week, it might be a Halloween look. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do just yet. I think I want to do one eye glamorous Halloween and then the other eye is a little bit more gory on the gory side. Um, so yeah, let me know as well about that in the comments down below again. And if you are not already, please follow me. Instagram which is at Lily's Beauty Within with an underscore before the within and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!